the the art of war, but everybody thinks it's the art of war of a book. I talk about the art of war internal warfare. Internal warfare is what we all hide. Only when you're threatened, everything you hide comes up when you're threatened. And this is the warfare I'm talking about for the ones that haven't been here. I'm talking about that type of warfare. The physical warfare is to me is only 20%. The mental warfare is 80%. The 99.9% .9 of the rest of that is internal, which will we all hide. And we all hide that emotion until we are threatened. When we're threatened, it all comes up. And that's when you know. Okay, so what comes up? Anger, fear, frustration, anxiety. These things come up. It used to be fight or flight, now it's freeze. And the ones that are freezing is, are the ones that are saying, I had no idea what happened. I've been training this and this and this, but when it came down to it, I froze. How many here actually got to that point where something had happened to where you actually froze? Raise your hand if you did. Okay, because what happens is when you know, how many here actually Feel your anger. Raise your hand if you feel your anger. And the reason why you feel your anger, it is not because you fear of yourself. You fear of what it might sound like or what it might or what you might do. It's almost like if I get angry, when everything I'm, I fear, if I get angry, everything that clears up, I'm going to be sorry. For what I said, I'm going to be sorry for what I did. So being afraid of your anger, sometimes we do the completely opposite. How many have done that? Because of your anger, you became so nice, over nice, that you didn't have to be that nice. You just extra nice so that way you have to make sure that nobody pushes those buttons because if they push the buttons, that's what I fear. I'm going to, get, I'm going to go berserk. Now, that's internal. That's an emotional internal uh, uh, fight. And then usually that fight is about ourselves. Now, when we do that, the fight of martial arts is about learning how, or it's supposed to be a way of life in the martial arts. Self-defense is you have defending mentally and you're defending physically, sometimes verbal and sometimes spiritual. Spiritual warfare is the kind of warfare that you cannot see but you feel, and it feels very uncomfortable. Now, this type of warfare, because we're in a good environment, we're in a healthy environment, so usually it's very hard to find that kind of warfare in when you have an environment like this, because it's comfortable, it's nice, it's safe. But I'm here to make it unsafe. I'm here to make it uncomfortable. And the reason for that is because that's the only way, whatever you do, if you cannot do it under that kind of pressure, to me, it's not any good. Okay? I don't want you to memorize this. I want you to own it. Memorizing does nothing for you out there. Owning it means, how did you do this? I don't even know how I did it, I just did it. That's how you're responding on natural reflex. That is what I'm looking for. The natural reflex that you do without thinking. So when I tell you get out of your way, I mean I'm telling you to get stop thinking about I don't want to look that, I don't want to, I don't want to uh, make mistakes, I don't want this and that. But just remember one thing. Everything you do is never a mistake. Your body just doesn't understand it. So take that out of your vocabulary. I keep making the same mistakes. You're not making a mistake. You're teaching your body what you want it to do. It doesn't understand. So is it a mistake? No. But to have the courage to do it, okay? All you're doing is telling your body, no, let's keep doing it until we, I understand it until I got the rhythm of it, until I got the feeling of it. Don't go into an emotional state of, 
God, I keep making mistakes. God, I'm looking bad. God, why do I keep on making mistakes? Why can't I get it? Why can't I this? When you get to that state of mind, you beat yourself up for what? And all it was, it was a misinterpretation of teaching yourself what you want instead of thinking there's something wrong with you. Nothing is wrong with you. Okay? It's just, I'm going to teach you a different way of what you already know. You call it one way, a reverse circle punch, I call it a right cross. Okay? You call it a backhand, ridge hand, okay? finger poke, that's in the yard. I call it the same thing, but only I have a different way. In the art of war, in kickboxing, different name for the different uh, uh, attacks that you're going to use. So, the ones that were within the first seminar, raise your hand. 